Hot. It is like, oh, I don't know, in the 70s? Today, it's hot. So, don't mind me, I gotta open the window. It's hot. Oh my goodness. Yeah, I'm doing this uh, series of vlogs uh, just to clear the air on uh, the end of 2010. Just for a catharsis sake. Um, oh, great. I gotta get my keys. Hold on, y'all. Before I crash into the gate. Where did I put my keys? Really? way to work, as usual, and, uh, I can't complain, because I was, you know, unemployed for a better portion of this year, <laughs> so I can't complain about go to work, I'm happy to be go to work, y'all, it's just cutting into my vlog time, that's all I'm saying, there's got to be that balance of productivity and creativity, that's all I'm saying. You slow creep, really? Mmm, y'all gonna get to see road rage today. And just be like, Ugh. on my way to work. Hurry up. Oh, you just slow. What is that, a gremlin? That's almost like a gremlin. Really? Come on, son. Alright, on our way. Here we go. So, yeah, I'm just doing these uh, videos for catharsis, basically. Um, I, I just, I got a lot to get off my chest. And one thing that I got to get off my chest is pet peeves. Um, I got a lot of pet peeves. I'm, I'm very particular about how I um, behave and act toward other people, and I don't. I have standards for myself that, unfortunately, I end up kind of putting on other people, and I do apologize for that. Um, but one of the things that I've seen so far this, this year, this winter, I mean, even though it's 70 degrees down here, it is still officially winter, we've had a couple of really good cold snaps, is what is it, and I've heard that this is going on in other parts of the country, too, what is it with the Parker on the top? I mean, we're talking a full-fledged winter parka that, like, an Eskimo would wear, you know what I'm saying? With flip-flops on the feet. What? It, really? It, what is that all about? You know what I'm saying? It ain't right. You know, get yourself some Uggs or some boots or, or, or something. You know, just... It's just ridiculous. Flip-flops, really? Another thing is another clothing pet peeve that I've got, which is pajamas. Why, really, you're going to go outside with your pajamas on for real, though? Aren't pajamas for the house, specifically for bed? Really? It doesn't make no sense. Can't take that. You know, I mean, in my age group, that was just unheard of. I mean, there was even a certain point on Saturday mornings while you were watching your cartoons that your mama said, isn't it time for you to get ready and, and get dressed? You know what I mean? It's like, there's just, I don't know, there's just certain dress etiquette that has just broken down over this last year. Um, slippers and socks out in public, really? Muff slippers, just walking into a store, walking into a restaurant or whatever with muff, muff slippers on, or your socks. Now, I see that a lot down here um, in Texas because they kind of don't have the no shirt, no shoes, no service policy down here. Um, it's just a free-for-all. People bring their pets into stores and stuff, you know, like little doggies that 
it isn't anything to see somebody just walk into a store with like a little uh, Yorkie poo or whatever uh, crooked up underneath their arm. Um, I don't know. It's just it's more freewheeling down here. Um, that's that's a pet peeve of mine, big time. It's like you can't leave the dog in the car or something really. Now I understand when it's like a hundred degrees outside, the dog should actually be home. Um, there are those dangerous weather conditions down here, especially in Texas, that you cannot bring your pet. Um, I know that I cannot take Sammy out for rides, even at night, because it's still like 90 degrees at night and whatnot. So I can't even take the dog out for a good ride anymore. And I used to be able to do that a lot in New England. And, you know, just take out the dog for a spin and everything, you know, because we both end up getting cabin fever. Um, I don't know. I, I, I just, I don't know about looking down and seeing somebody just walk into a store in their socks. I mean, I would rather see somebody walk in with bare feet than in their socks. It's just, there's just something inherently wrong about that. Um, got another pet peeve, and this is a driving to work pet peeve. Why do people switch lanes just inadvertently? We're talking from the extreme left or extreme right to the exact opposite of the road. Marry a turn signal, you know what I'm saying, just, and, and expect you to be psychic and predict that they were going to do that, you know what I'm saying, I, I have almost, I have seen visions of angels several times going to work, thanks to people that can't drive, and, <laughs> you know what I'm saying, I've seen my life flash in front of me on several occasions, and, you know, hey, it was quite boring. Um, I haven't done a whole heck of a lot. Um, I am a poster child for being a slacker. But, you know, I mean, just have some consideration on the road. And please use your turn signals. That's all I'm saying. It's for everybody's safety. Just, you know, and on occasion you might actually burn a few errant calories along the way. Just click in your turn signal. You know what I'm saying? Just... Remember to do that. Have some courtesy for people on the road. That's all I'm saying. Um, some more pet peeves of mine. Just general pet peeves. And in in the comment section below, I want you all to put your pet peeves as well, man. What just what just cheeses you off on a daily basis? I don't like when people are habitually late. Habitually late. Oh, I'll be there in 20 minutes. 20 minutes is 45 minutes. You know, and it, it depends on who you're dealing with, whether you, you you can translate or not. It's like, okay, 15 minutes actually means half an hour. 20 minutes actually means more like 45. <laughs> you know what I mean? I just, I'm a very prompt person. I like to be on time. It freaks me out when I know I'm running late. I mean, and by the time I get to wherever I'm going, I'm like all spastic and everything because I'm just a very prompt person. Um, what's the other thing I don't like? I don't like passive-aggressive people. You know, I mean, if you you got something on your mind, you need to say it, you need to be all snide and everything. Have the bravery, have the courage to just say it. You know what I'm saying? Don't try to mask it. Don't try to uh, double-handed back slap compliment somebody, you know what I'm saying, it's just like, you know, if you're going to be snide, just be, just be snidely whiplash with it, just come out and be villainous with it, um, we all big girls and boys, you know what, we, I mean, we can handle it, you know, it, it, drop the passive, just be aggressive, you know what I'm saying, <laughs> I would rather have somebody straight up just tell me, I don't like you, and I'll be like, okay, that's your opinion and everything, you know, but guess don't be grinning to my face and saying snide comments and thinking that you're being all slick and everything, because you belittling my intelligence and showing me that you stupid, so let, let's not even go there. Um, PC, political correctness is killing this planet. I'm just saying, I cannot stand the, the wave of PC. You know, and the nonsense that comes with it, and the, the lack of common sense that comes with it. Uh, you know, like with no tolerance policies and this, that, and the other. Like, you know, you hear those horror stories from schools where a kid brought uh, 
a plastic butter knife to school to cut up his lunch and gets kicked out of school or something. It's like, really? Serious? The kid brings in an aspirin, you know, from home, gets kicked out of school. You know what I mean? <laughs> it makes no sense how they do things like that. It's like, you know, I mean, that's common sense. You know, so, I mean, no tolerance policies just crack me up. It's not going to stop kids from blowing up schools uh, with pipe bombs and AK-47s. It's just not, you know. So I have some common sense about you. And all of these long terms that we use for everything, like somebody, you can't call somebody bald anymore. They've got to be fo follicularly challenged. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> somebody bald. You know what I'm saying? It's just... It, I, I don't know. I don't know. We need to go back to shorthanding language just a bit. Uh, another pet peeve of mine has to do with the, the age of uh, information and technology that we're in. You know, with texting and, and tweeting and dropping people emails, comments on YouTube, things like that. That it seems that with all this communication that we're doing, that nobody's really communicating. It's kind of it's kind of sad. This. You know, between trolling and, and people misunderstanding the, what you what you just said and taking your comments out of context and this, that, and the other, it just seems that for the age of communication, the age of information, that we're so disconnected and disassociated from, from each other, it's not even funny. So I'm just saying, show some love, reach out, grab a hand, you know what I'm saying? Just don't rely on texting, tweeting, or whatever. You know, get get to know people. I mean, for whatever reason, we've become more isolated as 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 a race. And I mean, we we should really be uh, celebrating the technology that we've got now, um, because this video is going to reach everybody all across the world. Whoever whoever blinks on it, whoever clicks on it, they could be in any country on the planet. And you know, that is so cool. If you really think about that, that is so cool. And if you think about it, that we haven't had this technology for that long, it's incredible. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I'm so happy to be living in the interesting times that I am now. Um, it is. It's just really cool. And I think we should take more advantage of what we've got going here instead of just spamming and, and trolling people. Um, unfortunately, that is a societal byproduct. Um, you've got cheesy people that, you know, hack accounts and things like that, but, you know, I mean, it's, we gotta nip that kind of stuff in the butt, too. There's always gonna be somebody that's cheesy and scurvy about something. Um, my goodness. I am having a relatively quick drive. I am early today. I always end up seeing that this is, I call this time travel rope because <laughs> I can make up two or three minutes alone just on this road. It's just, it's very strange. It's very strange. I look at the time on the Tom Tom and it seems to go backwards. I end up doing a kind of Doctor Who drive to work every day, which is awesome. Um, I don't know what else we can possibly say or do um, as far as communication. Um, I don't know. I just lost my train of thought. Uh, I don't, I think that does it for, uh, pet peeves. I know that, uh, Alpha Cat does a pet, he's, he's done a series of pet peeve, uh, vlogs, and I really, I actually enjoyed them. And a lot of the pet, pe pet peeves that he had were also mine as well. Um, so I'm not trying to bite off of his video or, or, you know, bite his style or anything like that. I mean, big props to Alpha Cat. Um, but I just, like I said, th these last couple of vlogs, I'm just trying to get 2010 out of my system because it's just, it's been off the hook. Let me make sure that I got, got myself in, in lens here. Um, people probably looking at me like, this girl's non-stop talking to herself. She is off the hook. We don't see no Bluetooth in here. So she must be crazy as a bed bug. Um, I don't know. It's just... PC 
is one of my biggest pet peeves. And then, of course, here's another one that's just a societal one in general that seems to affect uh, Americans, mostly. We have a notoriously short memory when it comes to news stories and stuff. We can drop a, and forget a news story at a drop of a hat. Um, thank God for things like Google searching and everything, where you can actually go, oh yeah, that did happen. You know, I mean, Google has solved more arguments on this planet than anybody else. It's become the great mediator <laughs> of society, you know what I'm saying? I've used it on occasion, and when I've had those moments of uh, mental flatulence and I can't remember something, uh, Google is awesome. However, that being said, Google got a little too much power. When they say Google Earth, they mean it. You know what I'm saying? They got way too much pull. I don't know. I, I should be a friend. To, I, I should just say, uh, I'll be your friend, Google. Yeah, it is. Don't hurt me, Google. Um, I don't know. This is just randomness. This is just a stream of, of consciousness while I'm driving. Um... I don't know, it's hot in this car too, man, it's like 70 degrees out, I got the windows closed so I can talk to y'all without the wind whipping in the background and screwing up the audio, but, <sighs> I don't know, I don't know, it's just, it's it's a bizarre day, um, I got the day off tomorrow, which happens to be New Year's Eve, woohoo, then I gotta work New Year's Day, uh -huh. So, I don't know how much cha champagne... Really? You're going to cut in front of me like that? Really? See, now, I knew this drive was going too well, y'all. I knew it. Lane switching lane in full effect. Ooh. Really? Please don't cut in front of me like that. With your big old truck like that. Really? Ay, ay, ay. See, now, it made me forget what I was saying with all of that. Yeah, oh yeah, I gotta work, uh, I gotta work New Year's, so, New Year's Day, so I'm not gonna be consuming that much champagne, uh, tomorrow night, which kind of stinks, but, it's okay, it's alright, it's alright. You cut in front of me, you going to the same place, really? Mmm, see, I don't like you. A pox to your grandchildren, that's all I'm saying. See, see, people make me evil like that. You better not take my pocket space. Or I'm going to be mad. Go on now and turn. <laughs> I made it. All right, y'all. Well, I'm going to do the do. I will see you all soon. Uh, look for me. Look for a couple more videos. Um, hopefully, uh, right at the, the first week of the new year, so, love, peace, and chicken grease, this is Raven Plume, y'all have a great day, peace, and I'm out.